it is what I got. I got cotton rounds, some little puffs because I didn't get the ones off of Amazon. So here I got some cotton rounds because I love these since they don't leave like that fuzzy residue. I also got some foundations. One of my favorite like for anybody is the CoverGirl foundation. And I got a hard candy one which I think I'm going to keep for myself. I want to try it out. I'm not sure. And some makeup wipes to remove some like swatches or if a client comes in and needs a makeup wipe or something. I got some extra to keep in my kit. This is what my kit looks like right now. I'm about to refill it because I bought some new foundations and I got an order in. I have all of my primers right here. I'll do an in-depth kit tour when everything is done and ready. Too Faced Born This Way concealers are some of my favorite to use on clients because I always go back to it and I can count on it. Here are some of my foundations that I tried to refill and restock. So this isn't sponsored, but I want to let you guys know about the app that I've been using that's called Flip. And you guys, it is free. You can save like 30% off your entire total of your order and you get a handful of free products. Not to mention, you just post your honest reviews and you can also earn money by doing so, which is a great extra way to get a little money. But you literally get such a good deal on products. And this is how I've been building my kit as well as buying my everyday makeup products. I feel like everybody needs to know about it, but not everybody does. I got the dibs too, highlighting like little sticks. And then I got another of the desert island duo which i am obsessed with already and i got a different shade of the lois foundation and i was running low on the brow lift so i got that this is dreamy i love this texture it looks beautiful so i can't wait to use this eye cream i'm gonna go ahead and add these and sanitize everything so my kit is a little bit dirty so please excuse that i literally just had a party of like six already clean and disinfected everything we'll do a full kit tour soon go in depth of every little thing well almost every little thing but here are the foundations that i wanted to show y'all that i I ordered in my flip border there's different ones oh gosh okay so that was kind of a little fail i was trying to get out some foundations i need to clean the bottom because a little foundation kind of spilt the lys triple fix serum foundation this foundation i have three different shades in and so far i mean i've used it personally i haven't really found my own shade range my match i feel like i don't really know if i like it because i couldn't really get a good like shade you know i feel like this foundation is great for more mature skin having a lot of practice with different skin types and skin tech skin tones and textures i feel like this is going to be great for those who have a little bit more mature skin or seasoned clients they like something that's a little bit more lightweight if you do have dry skin if you want something a little bit more hydrating and something more like medium to buildable but i feel like it still looks very natural on the skin I have shade mg2 this one is mg5 this one is in the shade tg5 a foundation that i just got a darker shade of for this one girl this fit perfectly this is the sephora uh, best skin ever definitely want more shades of this foundation i do like it so far i think it's beautiful and it's medium to full coverage and it's so pretty on the skin it's like a matte finish also anti-pollution it says the shade that i have is 29y and i like a lot of foundation well a lot of my clients are very similar in tones so i carry a lot of like the same foundations but like a little bit different like maybe two or three darker and like lighter and medium because i like to have an array so i have a lot of fit me ones in here i know what my clients use and need so i don't overpack everything is very specifically catered i got these concealers on sale a while ago for like 750 because they were i guess going out of stock or something i got these three that i picked out which works perfectly the shades that i got were 50 np 60 nn and 30 ny you still get medium coverage but i feel like it's a lightweight concealer it's not as thick you could say as like the Too faced born this way or the tarte shape tape so i have those in there here are the other two products i want to show you guys that i got i have been loving dibs so much i have two of their like cream contour and then i have the two highlighting bombs right here which i did use and i can already tell you i'm a huge fan of these the dibs desert island beauty status i use the shade good gold life and unbothered bronze I used this one the most on Saturday and it was beautiful. I think it's so pretty. These are no joke. These are some of the best cream highlighters I've ever tried. I think these are definitely up there. These are beautiful. I personally like them on myself. They are some of the creamiest. They smell so good. They blend out nicely and they give you the prettiest glow. I also use these on a client. I use these and the highlighting sticks and she looked gorgeous. They do go by numbers. I think this is two and three. I'm not sure. They also go by colors, but they're really hard to read in the bottom. So i'll link everything that i'm talking about in this video down below in the description box so you can look at them and i'll also leave the flip app down below they are on there right now and the products always constantly change the blush is called you do you and then the bronzer is called mood boost the blush is called full deets on this one and the bronzer is called spill the tea 
can see how this one is a little bit more warm tone this one's more cool tone and more neutral and the blush is more pink and this one's more like a peachy nude when I get the lighter champagne color this one's more of a light gold look at that I barely swatched them you guys they're also beautiful on the eyes my favorite thing about them is you can mix and match them so I did get a Sephora order just now in the mail I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it with you guys because I'm so excited to show you what I ordered I only got like two things but I can't wait to open them I oh, know I want y'all to get excited with me I'm so excited. First thing is first, I got some sample perfume samples, which I was so hoping to get because sometimes they run out of stock. I got this Angel Nova perfume, and then I also got this Skylar Clean Beauty Vanilla Sky perfume, but it smells really good so far. Now that it's sitting on me, it smells a lot prettier, but I would have to wear it all day. I had to get this because it has been on sale way too long to not get it. It is the one size Patrick Star palette i am a big fan i literally have his blushes here in my kit they just came out with a new one as well which i am like dreading to get my hands on it's been sold out everywhere and literally since i've got this one like i broke the powder but it's okay because i didn't really use that one but still these are expensive but they came out with the new baby pink one and it's sold out everywhere that's kind of annoying before we open it this is what i got and then because of like the crazy like rave for the for the pink blushes this is the color everybody is going crazy over but nobody has talked about the sephora one so i'm like i'm gonna get this one because like i said nobody talks about it and i figured like it would be in stock and there she is you guys and it's glory it is a beautiful baby pink or like that purpley lavender color like that pink under eye look you can kind of see it on my hand i probably use this as a blush topper on top of a different blush already and if you're curious in the color over the moon number 14. it's the visionary eyeshadow palette there's this makeup artist that i follow on instagram and she had bought this for all her students so i'm like this is a sign to just go ahead and buy it reflective color like a chrome oh my gosh the way that it's shaped is really cool as well so it's like slid out like it's not like you know <sighs> Ugh, let me get this off. <gasps> okay ready this is a gorgeous look how creamy oh my gosh this is a beautiful look at that blue it's so eye-catching i love the big mirror i love the shape of it i think it's very different and i love like the size of the pans i can just tell like how creamy it is and i think this is going to be a great palette to add to my kit for like neutral shades as well as that pop of blue because a lot of people ask me for like blue surprisingly do quite a few of like quinces and like photo shoots uh mainly quinces people love like blue to match their dresses 